What's up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2020 Acura TLX courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Acura in Mechanicsburg, PA. And I'm quite excited to be in this one. Having owned an Acura in the past, I am quite partial to the brand. So as always, let's start with pricing. And so I'm going to try to break this down in the most simplest way possible because with the trim levels and the engine options, it does get a little bit complicated. But front wheel drive with the standard package will start at an even $33,000. Front wheel drive with technology package starts at $36,700. Front wheel drive Drive with the A spec is going to start at $39,600. Now, if you wanted to add a V6 to any of those packages, simply add $3,200. And if you wanted to add all wheel drive to the V6 engine setup, simply add $2,000. But then there is one more additional setup being the all wheel drive V6 with the advanced package that is going to start at $45,950. But so then when it comes to the engine setup, there are actually two engine setups available for the TLX. First one being a 2.4 four liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 206 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 182 pound feet of torque available at 4,500 RPM. Power with that one is sent to the front wheels through an eight speed dual clutch transmission with paddle shifters. And zero to 60 time with that one comes in at approximately 7.2 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 23 in the city, 33 on the highway. However, that one does use premium unleaded fuel in case you were curious. That is what Acura recommends at least. But then you have the other engine setup, the one we happen to have today being the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. This one puts out 290 horsepower at 6,200 RPM, 267 pound feet of torque available at 4,500 RPM, power sent to front wheels or all wheels. We do happen to have the super handling all wheel drive system today. So that's definitely quite nice. And that power is sent to the ground through a nine speed automatic, again with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. But overall zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.9 seconds with MPG numbers 20 in the city, 29 on the highway. But so now before we do any kind of acceleration in the TLX, I did want to mention there is a button labeled dynamic mode that is going to be directly behind that drive button there. But that is going to essentially be your driving modes on this one, giving you Econ, Normal, Sport, and Sport Plus. And I did just put it in Sport Plus driving mode because it sounds like the most fun to me, but it did immediately downshift. It is going to hold the RPMs at a higher level, adjusting throttle response and the shift points. Also, though, it is going to adjust the climate control. For instance, if you put it in that Sport Plus driving mode, it is going to dial back the climate control, so helping you a little bit with acceleration there. But it is also going to adjust the steering sensitivity. And right now in sport plus driving mode i do like the weight of the steering wheel it is a little heavier of a feel to it so that's definitely quite nice but since i mentioned it now it's time to get to the fun part let's first test out the paddle shifters in the new tlx here with it in sport plus driving mode and let's see how quickly they react for us here All right, there is a little bit of a delay to them, so not the fastest paddle shifters in the world, but it's nice that they're there. Especially, I would imagine you could use them in the snow if you did not want to use the brakes, maybe going down a hill. You could use the paddle shifters to downshift to get a little bit of engine braking there if you needed it. But now to get out of that manual shifting mode, I'm just simply going to press that D button, the drive button, and that is going to give the car control once again. So now it is time. Let's do a quick little acceleration without the paddle shifters, and let's see how quickly we can get the 2020. 20 TLX with the V6 up to speed. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I admit it. Naturally aspirated V6, so it's definitely got a good bit of power. So no issues with merging onto the highway. Definitely quite a nice acceleration there. But so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 12.2 inch solid rear discs. And it will be that same braking setup regardless of which engine setup that you go with, actually. But so far, as far as the braking fuel goes, I feel like there is a slight delay or originally, but still it will bring the TLX to quite a quick stop on this one. But so then touching on handling and suspension a little bit, up front you will get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, a multi-link rear suspension, 
as well as front and rear stabilizer bars. And of course, with the all-wheel drive setup that we have today, that is the super handling all-wheel drive system, meaning the same all-wheel drive system that is found on Acura's supercar, the NSX. So that's definitely nice. And if you went with the front-wheel drive setup, that is actually going to give you all-wheel steering where the rear wheels actually turn as well. So that's actually something that you almost never find on front-wheel drive cars. That is a pretty cool feature too. But either way, like I said previously, the steering feel is definitely quite nice, especially in Sport Plus driving mode because the steering wheel will have a heavier weight to it. As far as ride quality goes, I've had absolutely no issues in my short test drive today. It's pretty much as expected. And when it comes to cabin noise, that has probably surprised me the most. It is definitely a quiet cabin inside here. So very nice when it comes to that as well. And with visibility, it is a sedan. You're not going to have any issues there. Headrests don't protrude up too incredibly much either, blocking visibility. So that's definitely also nice. So really no issues with visibility but i think it is time now let's check out the exterior because there are some new exterior colors i want to first mention on the 2020 acura tlx first one being the one that we are currently in labeled canyon bronze metallic i absolutely love this color actually i'm glad i got this one today also there's going to be performance red pearl majestic black pearl and apex blue pearl those are the four new colors for the TLX. So that's always fun when car companies switch up the color selections each year. They take a look to the sides there, you will find July LED headlights. They will come standard. And if you went with the A-Spec or the Advanced package, you will get LED fog lights just below as well. To make your way to the side, power adjustable heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals will come standard. Reverse gear tilt down mirror are also going to come standard. So meaning when you put it in reverse, side mirrors are going to tilt down so you don't go hitting any curbs or anything like that. That's always good. Advanced package is actually also going to add puddle lights and auto dimming side mirrors as well. Then zooming out a little bit, you will find chrome window surrounds for all trims, but the A-Spec. The A-Spec, of course, being the sportier trim level, that is going to give you black window surrounds in case you were curious. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. There are plenty of wheel options. They're essentially going to range from 17 inches to 19 inches, so quite a selection there. Then make your way to the back. LED taillights again will come standard. If you went with the four cylinder, you will get a single exhaust outlet however since we have the six cylinder today we do have dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are round back to open that rear trunk, the easiest way I found was just hit the button on the key fob, and then it's simply going to open up for you. Once opened up, though, cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.3 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, there is a 60 40 split, providing a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 34.5 inches. So, for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. And I did want to also mention for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as well as rear ventilation both of those will come standard as well then make your way up to the front seats as far as the finishes go by the way leatherette finish is going to come with the standard package however all other packages including the tech that we have today is going to give you a milano premium leather finish so that's definitely very high end there and there will be power adjustable front seats with power lumbar that comes standard as well as heated front seats and if you want a ventilated front seat simply go with the a spec or advanced package they take a look up front at the steering wheel it is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it is leather wrapped and it is going to be heated if you went with the advanced package and now let me show you guys the key real quick when it comes to the startup there is the Acura logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch and the key does have a nice weight to it very heavy duty if you will but to start this one up if you wanted the remote start go with the advanced package otherwise there is a red push button start paying homage to the old s2000 i believe with that red push button and start that's always a good thing but all i'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and then once started up tachometer is going to be on your left speedometer is on your right and there is a decent size digital display front and center and to control what is on that digital display simply use the controls on the right side of the steering wheel but that is going to give you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty your all-wheel drive status in our case your oil life so you know when you need to get your next oil change also outside temperature and a couple other things as well 
And I do want to also mention with the gauges, if you went with the A spec, that is going to give you a slightly different gauge setup as well. More of a red and black theme, little sportier gauges there. But now let's take a look at overall interior quality a little bit. Ambient lighting comes standard. That's definitely a good thing. Dual zone climate control also standard as well as the power moonroof for every single trim level. Also wanted to mention with the technology packaging up, again, that's the package that we have today. That is going to give you a frameless rear view mirror. So definitely a nice design cue there. A spec package is also going to add a black headliner, metallic foot pedals, and some A-Spec logos throughout. Home link controls are also going to come standard. You also have your overhead sunglass holder up there as well. But let's now take a look at the tech display on this one. You will still get a dual digital display setup. So you have the top screen, which is displaying the navigation right now. And then the bottom screen gives you climate control, radio settings, and a couple other things. But it's one of those things you get used to. I still will probably prefer just one screen, but the two digital thing. Again, my mother has this in her MDX and she's got used to it so definitely not all that bad there but either way you get bluetooth and audio streaming android auto and apple carplay factory navigation system is going to come with the technology packaging up and you can check out your radio settings like i was saying and when it comes to the sound system seven speaker acura sound system will come standard 10 speaker ELS studio sound system comes with the technology package and up. And so we do happen to have that sound system today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing right now. And let's test out the clarity of this ELS sound system that we have. <laughs> Definitely not bad, ton of bass with that one and pretty darn clear for a 10 speaker sound system. Sound system is definitely working for me. But so then last thing on the tech display, at least I wanted to mention is when you do put the TLX in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines on the upper display screen, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also up front a driver's knee airbag. And that one doesn't always come standard on cars. In the back, you're going to find latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard, a collision mitigation braking system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and a road departure mitigation system. And then there are a couple packages that will add some additional safety, including the technology package and up that is going to give you a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, as well as rain sensing windshield wipers. And then if you want with the A-Spec and up, that's going to give you front and rear parking sensors. And the advanced package is going to add a windshield de-icer system. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.